What's up, guys? Max here, and it's been a very interesting news week for Street Fighter V. You might have caught the previous video where we were talking about the game and its PC version, which had quite a bit of leaks because people were able to get in and data mine a bunch of information out of the game, where they were able to find a pretty substantial amount of information regarding the possible future of Street Fighter V, and we were talking about the, uh, the chances of that and some of the earlier predictions and earlier things that had happened within leaks a few months back. Some stuff was lining up, but some more information came out uh, over the past week when Dalsam was announced, and the big one is the official release date. Now, we were talking about the release date over the past year. Uh, we made a video about it about a year ago where we kind of predicted what the release date of the game was going to be, and it actually coincides with the release of any mainline Capcom game that was the original version. This includes Street Fighter 4, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and Street Fighter Cross Tekken, which is around first quarter 2000, or the first quarter of each year. And it looks like, yes, Street Fighter V is indeed launching first quarter of 2016, and all the other Street Fighter games usually launch around February or March. Uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken was March, and yes, Street Fighter V's official release date is indeed February 16th, a couple days after Valentine's Day, which is very good timing. Gives you time to catch up after all the lovey-dovey stuff and beat the hell out of each other. So this is, this is extremely good. There was a lot of predictions that it was going to be somewhere around maybe the beginning of April, potentially March, but I felt fairly confident that Cap Capcom's had a lot of success in the past with launching their fighting games in February, and they are keeping suit. The other big piece of information caught up was that there is also going to be six characters that will be rolling out for Street Fighter before the end of 2016, or the beginning of 2017 is how they phrased it. So alongside the 16-character roster, before the end of 2016, there will be a, uh, a total of 22 characters in the game. So this is going to also include that the fact that we don't know what the 16th character of Street Fighter V is, but the ongoing impression and interpretation based off the information from the data leak is that it's going to be this fan character, which is also referring to this very worldly, like, knowing figure that it was translated and kind of, like, kind of hinted towards. So I'm fairly sure that this, uh, this Zen character or this fan character is going to be something very close to a boss character of some kind, which will most likely also be playable, because, uh, as we all remember, Seth was also playable in Street Fighter 4 when it launched with its vanilla version. Now, the six characters, I think we have a pretty good idea of what they could be, but they actually gave us a pretty big clue with this silhouette image, and also leaning the fact that these characters are not going to be released in a bulk chunk at the end of 2016. It's going to be more along the schedule of about two months per character, which is perfect. I think that's one of the best things you can possibly do for a fighting game. Now, if we look at these silhouettes and actually look at the leaked characters from before, we can get a pretty good idea of what's going on, but we can also take a look at the clues that are in with each silhouette. Now, there's not much to go by, but you see that there's one detail on each character that is highlighted that is uh, kind of not completely silhouetted. And the first one is an eye. The second one appears to be a crest or a rose of some kind. The third one is the Illuminati symbol or the uh, kind of Egyptian eye that you see on one of the specific stages and the backgrounds and character art. And this one over here, there seems to be a spiked kind of motif to a dress or something along those lines. This one's accented with uh, this weird green color and a zipper on the back. And of course, the one on the right is just a pair of eyes. So there's an interesting amount of correlation that we can actually put towards the characters that were already data mined through the PC version of the game, and more information popped up as far as how this stuff was actually discovered, and it was literally discovered through the amount of uh, polygons in their 3D models. Uh, kind of interesting how Ryu as a base character had about like 68,000 polygons. I'm not too sure if this is the exact amount, but there's an interesting thing that leads you to the other characters, which is kind of like a base where Alex was leaked and he had like 66,000, and Yurian had 82,000, so there were quite a few characters, and the ones that they did find had uh, quite a bit of data to them, meaning that they're most likely not background characters. There's no reason for a background asset to have this much, uh, kind of this much data or this much polygons attached to each one of them. So this is kind of leading to the fact that within the game right now, these characters seem to be pretty highly regarded as being in the game, and those were all Jury, Ibuki, Dalzim, uh, Boxer, or Balrog, as you might know him, and uh, Yurian and Alex. And of course, we know that Dalzim was absolutely revealed, and he's a pretty complicated character at 77,000 triangles or polygons. 
And uh, But the other few, Jury, Ibuki, Boxer, Yurian, and Alex are the ones we want to pay attention to because those are a total of uh, five characters that could potentially be within this silhouette. And I'm pretty sure we can deduct what's going on here. The, the first one on the left, there's a very high chance that this could be Balrog or the Boxer character is what we're leaning towards. I just have a very funny feeling this is him. The one right next to him is the one that's kind of in the air for myself. Now, there's like, there's like this crest thing or it could be a rose, but it's kind of hard to tell. There's also a flap on the side. I have a funny feeling this is most likely going to be Dudley. There's a small chance, but a lot of other people are predicting that it could be Guile, potentially. I think that this crest thing could potentially mean that uh, this is a returning character. I don't think this is a new character. I have a funny feeling it might be Dudley, but we will see in the future. The Illuminati character is apparently, or very, very obviously wearing a cloak of some kind because his silhouette is kind of so wide and you only see the feet and the legs coming out of the bottom. I have a funny feeling that this is the connection to the Illuminati symbol that is on top of the forehead of uh, Nash and how Nash gets his body back. This is what's going to tie the story together, and that character is most likely Yurian, in my opinion. So this is going to have some connection towards Zen as a boss character, and this is maybe Yurian in a cloak. Who knows? That one's kind of unknown right now. There's also been cloaked characters in costumes before, like Akuma, so... This is just my theory. The one right after that is uh, either a toss-up between these two characters as being the two female roster characters. This one could lead a hint that they're kunais, like around her dress or something like that, that it could potentially either be Ibuki or Jury, and I think that's a very, very, very high a possibility. There's a big amount of fans for Ibuki and Jury, but we all just hate fighting against Ibuki for the most part. And of course, the one on the right, uh, the pose actually resembles uh, a classic Street Fighter character that we know as E-Honda, but I don't believe it's going to be E Honda. The stage is obviously the New York stage on this one. The funny thing is the one on the left is also the New York stage as well, so this could be a small correlation that these are two characters from the USA, and uh, we have the USA stage behind them, so there's a good chance that the left one was Balrog, and the right one could potentially be Alex. There's knee pads, there's a lot of similarities to what's going on within Alex's costume on this silhouette, so... Who knows, but that's a good guess as far as what's going on, where we potentially could be getting Balrog, Dudley, Yurian, Jury, Ibuki, and Alex as the six characters that are going to be released after the game that's come out in 2016. Like I said, these characters will be released every couple of months or so. We don't know if there's going to be two that will be immediately added on as like unlockable fight money characters, but they've mentioned that quite a bit, that they want to have things that you can unlock with fight money very early on. But that's about it, guys. Let me know what you think the roster of characters could be based on this silhouettes, because we're pretty much going to be munching at this stuff for quite some time. And I feel as soon as one of these characters potentially gets a uh, like an official reveal, like a DLC trailer or something like that, where we see what they are, it'll be very obvious that, okay, the data mine was real. The people that predicted that Alex and Yurian much earlier this year are totally right that those characters are going to be playable in the game, and they're just maybe throwing Alex in the background of the New York stage just to mess around with us. There's a there's a good chance that that's happening, but it's a very interesting bit of information we're getting. The best thing is that these characters aren't going to cost any money. I'll talk about this in a future video. The kind of DLC plan for Capcom is that you never have to buy anything outside of the disc that is for the core game itself. If you want to buy costumes, that's additional DLC, but any of the initial Street Fighter characters are a part of the $60 disc that you'll be buying, and they'll all be free to download, which is uh, one of the more awesome things about the game in the future of Street Fighter V. As always, guys, thank you a ton for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know what you think these six characters could be based on those silhouettes, and I'll be back with the next Street Fighter V video and information update as soon as possible. My name is Max, and I'll see you guys next time.